For this lesson, we're going to concentrate on how to create a GFX file to expose a flash scale form display inside of the CryEngine level that you've built. This isn't a very complicated process, but it requires you to use not only flash, but also the GFX exporter and, of course, Notepad++ to be able to write your GFX element or the UI element to expose it inside of the engine. So we're going to start by, first, I'm going to take my GFX source file, which if I were to preview this, it's a simple CryEngine GFX source file. And it's nothing but a JPEG image, and this is what we're going to import into the engine through GFX. Go ahead and close that. And what we need to do now is we need to go into Flash. And it's important that we use Flash CS6 because we're using ActionScript 2.0 inside of this to publish our Swift and put it into GFX format. So I'm going to go ahead and click ActionScript 2.0. And what I want to do is go up to Properties, and I'm going to change the size to 512 by 512 because that's the size of the image. And then what I need to do is I need to come in here and I need to import to the stage. And what we want to do is import the GFX source. And now we have CryEngine GFX source. And what we're going to do is basically save our file. So I want to save as. And let's go ahead and save it inside of our actual build. So if I go to CryEngine System C, CryEngine Launcher, Crytek, and we're going to go to Game SDK specifically, and then we're going to go to Assets, Libs, UI. And inside of here, we can store our Flash assets. So we're going to name this one GFX Source. We'll click Save. And the next thing that I need to do is I need to go to the Publish Settings. So if I go to my Publish Settings, I can see that I have an HTML wrapper. I don't want that, so let's click off of that. We'll go to Flash Player 10, Action Script 2.0, and let's open this up and make sure it's saving in the right spot. Let's go into the UI, and we actually want to save the Swift there. So we're going to click Save. And now that we have everything set up, we can click Publish. So this will save or publish out. And if I come into here, if we go to our UI, we can now see we have a GFX source. 